back, everybody, to another exciting episode of Yes Chef. I'm your host, as always, Big Chef Dro, and today we have something that I felt I needed to let you know about. Now, in the last video, we did some steaks, so it's only right that we do a little lamb. Now, a lot of you people don't really know a lot about lamb, and it kind of prevents you from going out there and, and figuring out how to execute this properly. The good news is, you got me. And I'm gonna show you how to do rack of lamb. So simple, so easy. I'm gonna put a wine port fig sauce with it. That's gonna absolutely blow you away. So family, come on in. Don't put your feet on my tables on my chairs, just sit back and relax. Let's cook. All right, fam, so let's go ahead and get into the ingredients for this lamb. So here, star of the show, we have a whole rack of lamb. They've already kind of French cut it a little bit. You could go down a little bit more, but we'll keep it like that. I, I, I kind of like the uh, fattiness that's on there, and we'll take care of that and do something with that as well. So uh, here we have some sun-dried figs, okay? Uh, very inexpensive, okay? And um, if you take one of these and just eat it by itself, it's going to taste like eating a fig newton. Same thing. That's, just, that's exactly how it's going to take one of those Fig Newton cookies. All right, so here we have some au jus base. This is concentrated au jus base. We have the country style uh, Grey Poupon and then the regular Grey Poupon Dijon. We have about a cup or so of granulated sugar. And we have some wine here. This is Cabernet Oak Leaf. This is the cheap stuff. Um, don't worry about trying to get something expensive. You're, you're, you're just defeating the purpose. All right. So seasoning the lamb, we have some black pepper. Uh, we have some basil, dry basil leaves, some dry thyme, some dry oregano. Now, if you don't want to go through this whole process, just go get you some Italian seasonings, the, the Italian herb, um, seasoning. It has all three of these in there. Plus, you know, a couple of other things. So this right here is going to be, uh, the the flavor to it the saltiness of it and this is my uh, special blend i haven't used this on camera in a while but this is if you're new to this channel this is what i use to season with pretty much a, a you know a, a lot and this is just a combination of morton's seasonal and accent salt equal parts shaken together and that's what i use to season with then we have some granulated onion granulated garlic now the lamb uh can get very expensive fortunately I found some that was about $10 a pound. Uh, so, you know, look around. I think I got, I can't remember where I got it from, but I'm doing an event in a couple of days. And so um, I had this one left. I'm sitting here prepping for everything. So I had this one left. So I decided, why not show you folks how I do my rack of lamb? Now, I'm going to be doing lamb lollipops for them. But I'm going to do the rack of lamb for you, show you how to cook a whole rack of lamb. All right. So um, we'll get all of this stuff out of the way because there is a little bit of uh, trimming that I have to do before I start everything off. So I'll get all of this out of the way and I'll take this off. There's there's some little there's some little end pieces on here that needs to come off. So I get that on out of the way. Little piece right there. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start this process. All right. So now. As you can see, uh, there's a little bit of silver skin there, but we're not going to worry about that. 
Uh, we're going to take care of this momentarily. Just hold on for one second. So we'll be back uh, as uh, we get ready to prepare for that. OK. All right, folks. So um, we have the lamb starting off. So here's what I did. Started put the lamb in here with the fat side down in a cold pan. OK, it's starting to heat up a little bit. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit to about a uh, to about a medium low. And I'm going to let that fat kind of render off. This is going to make for a much better product at the end, sort of like how you do duck. So you would st you start it off in a cold in a cold pan and you let it come up to temperature. You don't put anything in it. There's nothing in it. It's going to start making some um, the, the fat is going to start rendering off uh, and it's, it's going to get full of that fat. Now, it, if you start off cold, you don't have to worry about scorching it or burning it or, you know, you don't want it too hot either. OK, so we're going to go ahead and let that burn off and then we'll or, or let that cook off rather. And then we'll be back when we are ready to go to the next step. All right, family. So it's been about a good minute or two. This is how it looks. So I'm not turning it over. Um, I don't want to continue to cook. As you can see, we got, you know, we got some fat off in there. We got some oil off in there. Um, but this is good. That fat has rendered into there. And now when I, when I put it in the oven, I don't have to worry about all the fat that was there popping off and, you know, the oven's dirty with all type of uh, uh, lamb fat, you know, it's just a horrible ordeal. Plus, we got a chance to kind of render it off in there. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to let this sit and cool off and uh, come back down to room temperature. It's not going to take long because all I did was the uh, fat, the fat cap side. So while I'm doing that, while that's resting and getting ready to go down back to room temperature, we're going to start this sauce. Wait till you see what I have next for you. Be right back. All right, family. So we are going to pour off this whole bottle of wine. And you can use Merlot, you can use Shiraz, Cabernet, uh, uh, no Pinot, no, no Pinot Noir though. Don't, don't, you should never even be drinking that, that kind of crap anyway. So we're going to get that, uh, a little hot, but in the meantime, we are going to go ahead and cut these in half. All right. Now that we got those out of the way, let's go ahead as this is starting to get hot. Let's put this sugar off in here. Now, you know, this Cabernet doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. Uh, so it's OK to put a, a half a cup or, you know, almost a cup uh, of sugar in here. Get it mixed around. And then go ahead and drop your figs off in there. Go ahead and stir these bad boys around. Get them off in there. Let that sweetness start to take form. And at this point, it is hot enough. It is hot enough. So I'll go ahead and get the au jus base off in here. And since it's a whole bottle, you know, it, 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 I, I, I really can't say I've, I did not measure, but I do like to taste the the beef uh, that is in here. OK. And so when I use a whole bottle, two spoons like this of the concentrate and you can use uh, better than bouillon. If you can't find um, au jus base, which is kind of hard. Um, I have to get it from uh, GFS. You know, I have to order it through my um, through my rep. But if you can't find the Aju base, you can use the greater than bouillon. I, I use it on my channel all the time. The better than bouillon beef base. 
that should be just as good just as good all right we're gonna turn this down okay we're gonna turn this down to about there actually I'm gonna put it on the stove I'm actually gonna put it on the stove on the uh, on my stove in my, in my kitchen and I'm gonna put it on medium okay just to make things easier I'm gonna put it on medium and I'm gonna allow it to um, I'm gonna allow this to uh, cook down and reduce until it has like this nice thickness to it. Now with the sugar, it's gonna get nice and thick. And once it cooks down, I'll be back to show you how it looks, all right? All right, fam, so the sauce is on the stove getting ready. The lamb has came down to room temperature. So here's what we're gonna do. We'll go ahead and turn this over. Now, I just got a sheet pan, aluminum foil for easy cleanup on a wire rack. I do have the oven at 400 degrees, so remember that, right? Now, not really worried about this side, though I do understand if you've ever seen people eat lamb, or they really get into it. So I do want some type of flavor on it, but I'm not really overly concerned about it, and you'll, you'll see as I go along. So we're gonna go ahead and get a, um, a mustard uh, base for this, and just the regular Dijon mustard, and you'll have to use as much as you think you'll need there is really no um there is really no way of me you know telling you how much of this to use or how much of that to use uh it's really does it add flavor yes but it's really to make sure that everything kind of sticks to it while adding some flavor to it all right so um there's no really, there's no measurements to it. I just put it in here as I see fit according to how many I'm actually doing, okay? Don't ask me about stuff sometimes, I just do it. If something tells me to do it, I just do it. And that's just the way it is. All right, so got my little, my little handy brush here and I'm just gonna brush I'm gonna brush this here. Don't forget your sides. Okay. Never forget those sides. Your side hustle. Your side girl or guy. Always remember your sides. All right. So, listen. I'm just going to... I'm just going to put a little taste on now. I ain't, you know, we ain't going to get cute with it on this side. We ain't going to get too cute with it. Just a little taste. Just a little taste. A little bit of that seasoning. Put a little bit of... Put a little bit of pepper on now. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Then we'll add a little bit of this good garlic on there with it. All right. Okay. Somebody gonna find their way back there. We gonna make sure that they're happy when they do. All right. So let's go ahead, turn this over. This is the side that we're looking for right here. All right. This is the side everybody gonna, gonna dive into. All right, all right, so let's go ahead and get some flavoring on here. Let's get this garlic off in here. I like putting the garlic on second so it can be in there. Some onion. And go ahead and start putting, go ahead and start putting some of the uh, other stuff on after we dash a little bit of this pepper. Just a little something. All right.
get some basil off on there. And we, we're not, we're not, we're not doing it too thick. We just put a little flavor on there. Put a little oregano, a little oregano. Okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna be beautiful. And a little thyme. Again, not too much. Not too much. Okay. All right. We're gonna have to get gonna have to get some of some of it right here too now. Get a little bit of that on there. Sometimes you have to improvise when it comes to cooking. Folks, we are ready to go. All right, so this is going to go in the oven at 400 degrees. I want the internal temperature to be somewhere around 130. 135 somewhere around there I'll try to take it out around 130 just to let it rest so this is gonna probably take about 25 to 30 minutes I'll check it at 20 I'll have my thermometer and I'll check it at 20 just to see where we're at okay so we'll be right back all right family so this is what we are left with when it comes to our wine fig reduction. Now, all of this stuff that's in here, we're gonna get all of that out of there by putting it through a sieve or a strainer or whatever you wanna call it. stuff around a little bit it's a little thick so even now it's, it gets thicker as it stands and I'm gonna put it in the uh, refrigerator and uh, you can squeeze into the figs if you want those seeds this this sieve will not allow those seeds to get off in there so you don't have to really worry about it unless you've got one with bigger holes in it or something so all right so that is done and <laughs> out of that whole bottle we have a little bit over a cup a little bit over eight ounces and that's going to serve great for uh, how many people that I'm serving and plus uh, what I'm going to use for tonight as well uh, you don't need a lot of it again you don't want to drench it and then have it overtake your lamb you want to you want to taste the lamb you want to taste the herbs and you, you know you want to taste all the spices but you also want to taste this too. balance it out okay so uh i just checked the lamb right before i pulled this off it was at 120 so i put it on another 10 minutes and once that's done we'll be back All right, here we are, folks. Go ahead and put this off in there real quick. Get me a nice little read on it.
It's a little bit over, but it's okay. We'll work with it. It's just a little bit over. It's about 135. A little bit over, but we can we can work with it. We can work with it. All right. So I guess you know uh, this is the part where we're just gonna let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, the sauce has cooled down really good. So remember, remember what we always say, you know you stuck the sauce when it sticks to the back of the spoon. Man, this thing is nice and thick. Look how syrupy that is. Man, this thing is gonna be so good. So presentation purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this beautiful ramekin so we can get this together for when we take the thumbnail photo. We'll keep that there. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, fam, here we go. It has rested as much as it's going to. Now, this is supposed to be a two cut, but it's a pretty big one. So we're gonna do three cuts, and I got my my handy meat cleaver because these bones can be a little hard. All right. So look at that, folks. Is that not the most perfect piece of meat that you have saw. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Whew. Boy, I tell you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and plate this bad boy up, and we'll be right back. So here we are, family. Got it all plated up for you. Look at the color. Look at the texture. But what about the taste? Oh, family, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go on in with a piece right now. Look at that. That's that end cap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I might make Jay keep rolling and make y'all sit here and watch me eat every last piece of that because it's so good. Sorry about my smacking, but mm. it's called a game changer, folks. That's called a game changer. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Look, all right, I'm gonna let y'all get out of here. I'm gonna let y'all get out of here. So look, family, if you've ever wondered about lamb, how to cook it, sauces that go with it, you got it right here. Now look, I know some of y'all don't really know a lot about lamb, but give it a try. I guarantee you'll love it, especially if you do it this way. I'm telling you right now. So family, that's all I got for the day. I'm gonna finish this lamb off. I'll let Jay have a little bit since he was controlling the camera all the time. I'll give him, I'll probably give him one of them. So folks, don't forget, if you're getting anything out of any of the content that you see on this channel, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button as well if you want to be a part of the family. Don't forget the notification button. You'll stay up to date on all the videos that I come out with on the weekly or bi-weekly basis. Remember folks, I got a business to run. I'm, I don't have a lot of time to cook at home. I'm cooking so much everywhere else. But I'm going to keep the content coming for you. I'm going to keep it coming. So folks, Till the next time, 
until we see you again until the very next video as always family peace thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget hit the like button and if you want to be a part of the yes chef family consider hitting the subscribe button and don't forget click the notification bell and that way you'll stay up to date on all of our latest videos also consider becoming a member of my patreon for up close and behind the scene content and be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms thank you